Still the same Grandma Pink for the side of Runaway, but they've got the players back that everyone loved. Kaiser and even Runner are their substitutes. A lot of star power on the bench. You cannot afford to change the Runaway jersey. It's at their this thing. Point. It is iconic for this we team. We own our own version. Honestly, they would probably lose their fans if they got rid of the Grandma uh, jerseys. So they have to keep it at this point. They're stuck with it. They just kind of hit the nail. It's going to open up on the Winston. Two Winstons, and since we're on. Lighthouse, we're going to see plenty of fire action as well. Yeah, we'll be run here by Cox. He takes to the sky nice. to be protected, but Libero is very close to having that barrage ready. A side player also has the pulse bomb, will throw it down, but doesn't buy the stick. We'll see that runaway suffering. A couple losses there as Hawksoul goes down, Reg down from Yanyu. Does bring back Rio right as Tizzy dies, so the tank advantage going to be here for Meta Athena, but Stitch is able to follow up, gets rid of the Winston. Tries to contest on the point, can't quite finish off Moon as he does get three mech, and now he's all on his lonesome, has to try to sprint out of there. It looks like he will make it with his life, but barely so. Into the air, Hoon looking for a pick, not going to be finding anything as the sound barrier comes down from Meta Athena Barrage from Libero, just ripping them all apart. Tizzy and Hoxall both go down, he jumps right back up comes. into the skies, and that is going to be a nice shot in onto Cox, hits him in the dome with the rocket and takes him out with the res. Does come through, bringing back Hoxall, bringing back Tizzy, who has that primal rage available to keep the delay going. But they lose out onto Bumper. And Yanu, he's got his own res available as he just keeps skirting around the outsets of this point. He'll make it back in. Still holding onto the res for now, but might find the time to pop. It does bring back Rio as they keep trying to get this delay to try to get this overtime meter to drop. But honestly, Meta Athena might have to abandon it. They do peel back and run away. Will get the flip. Yeah, the fight was so long that even though the res was available at the end, ults built up for Runaway over the course of this. Bumper's coming back on the Kenji, actually. It's a bit of a change for him, but a couple of cleanup kills for Runaway. They're going to start ticking up to 99% themselves. Yeah, and Meta Athena, they suffer a lot of losses right at the end. Chris going down the last Seems one. likely. Soon will be able to zip his way through, but will get taken out of the mech immediately. He'll get taken down. Somebody else has to get in to try to tag this one, but it's a race against the time, and it seems like they will be able to get it right in the last second. Asaya dashes in, gets the pulse bump down on the Tizzy, takes him out, but they already lose out onto Rio. Keanu going down. Chris as well following soon, and run away despite not having the point for the majority of this match after Red Zing Stitch. He just wanted to use the rest just in case he died, but the fight's still going, as you say, Achilles. We're watching the Mercy perspective as it goes, but remember, this is all with Manathena ticking up, and there is the res for Hyano. Yes, just to bring Rio straight back in, Barrage thrown down, will get rid of Chris, and Hyano has fallen, so that's going to be the support members of Manathena going down, followed up by popping out and getting rid of Libero, so run away. Finally finding an opening to get this, but it's still going to be 66% ticking upward here for the side of Runaway, and not many people have ultimates. Cox about to have the barrage back up. Could that be the game changer? But Tizzy being able to survive for so long means the flip never came. Libro this time with the midair rocket onto Cox. They couldn't get the flip out. There it is, and already Runaway are in position here to try and delay. Gonna go stick coming through Janu going low on the mech, but makes it back into the sky and has bumper sticking to him like glue. Just an all-out dogfight from those Ferris up in the sky between two ace pilots. But now bumper has fallen, so that is gonna give the edge. Over there is Libero, who was running Genji for a lot of season three. Got himself alive, bounces back into the bubble. As it even charges forward, and Saya player off-screen has gotten rid of Cox, so that alleviates a lot of pressure and allows for Medathena to very safely play in onto the point. We will see the sound barrier coming down from the side of Hoxo, barely keeps himself alive for the moment, but will still get taken out as Hoon is just sticking to him like glue. Medathena still need to flip to come through. It's already 51% here for Runaway. And a nice delay is still happening as Yana will get knocked out of that mech, will get taken down. But still has not gone over to the side of Medathena. Cox getting jumped on. Pulse oh, bomb, not going to get the stick. And that is going to be Cox staying alive. But as Tizzy goes down, we might just see the cap here for Meta. Yeah, Runaway have to do so much to delay the point. First capture finally comes in. Sound barrier was used after Bumper. Bump. Bump. Get him spotted on the slinking position. You will see the transcendence start down here by Bumper. Feeling threatened by Libero with the Dragon Blade, who will now draw it out. Dashes in, looking for the Zenyatta. Gets him. Can he get more? Midair slice in onto Cox, takes him out. We'll go ahead and reach Chief the Blade. But those are the openings that he needed. Has a nice melee hit onto Tizzy to go ahead and finish off the Winston. Well, Stitch might be able to make the difference here. Has that Pulse Bomb ready to go? The only ultimate available for the side of Runaway. And surprisingly, they're going to be sticking with Bumper in on this Genji. Double overtime for either side. Libero on the high ground has that attack visor ready to go. Already gets rid of Stitch. Sound barrier comes out a bit too late to keep the Tracer alive. It will help shoot through this damage from the Soldier as he goes low. And Yanu will be able to take him down. 
Nox responding with one of his own. We'll get EMP'd right at this last second here from the side of Hyanu. Trying to take him out. We'll be able to get the pop out onto the enemy Diva, but it's still going to be Meta and Athena who are suffering the majority of the losses. Now the flip coming through for Runaway. Overtime and done down it. so swiftly, and they will, in fact, be able to take Ilios in the end. A win on to Lighthouse, now on to Ruins. They start this series off 1-0. And even with all the surprises, no Kaiser in the starting lineup. Hoxall on Lucio. Coming up with the kills as Cox and Hoxall both go down the rocket punch. Finding two kills to start things off. They'll go ahead and get the left clicks down to finish off Yanu. And then coming through as they look for the retake. Earth Shatter ready to go, throws it down right as that Nana Boost comes through. Three, man. And he can just swing away for the victory. And you can see Cox very out of position. Cutting all the way back, we'll go ahead. Eat that strike to the oh. face, but actually is able to fire back. In two points for free. Now we see the contest. Oh, here we go. We got the meteor strike ready to go from the side of Libero. Gets rid of Hawksall yet again as both sound barriers are used. Finds the kill off the point. on the Cogs. Don't want to he surrender just... this. They know it's two minutes left on the clock. They want to try to hold this one as Hawksall draws out the Dragon Blade, dashing into the back. Looking for the kill in onto the soldier instead. Changes over, trying to get the Zenyatta. Doesn't get it with them any favors. And down to a minute. So a meter 50 here. See what the position is going to be like for Meta Athena. They don't have anything to work with alt wise. They need at least the trans. Transcendence to fight. He's getting ready to come up, but Chris gets taken out first and foremost. Yano will be able to throw that one down as the self-destruct gets tossed into the back line. Finds Libero. Libero as he was trying to hide in behind the boxes, but they're still just suffering losses. One meter left now for the side of Runaway. They should be able to get the completion. It's just desperation here for Meta Athena, but one after the other, they get cut down, and that'll be Maybe you just meet a strike to try to draw one of these support ultimates. Seismic slamming for there is Libero yes, Jonu. rising up. Cut does get rid of Jonu. That was huge. It was in the sound by a cast animation. Absolutely perfect, but Hoxall is still doing work. Gets rid of Yano, gets rid of Saya player. Multiple members going down, and Libero has to use the Meteor Strike, but he can't do it aggressively. Just use two of these tracers. Answering Transcendence thrown down from the side of Chris as they try to finish off this cap. Still in contention, not finding it yet, but Libero has the Meteor Strike, and that can create some distance here for them. Rocket punching forward, not gonna find the kill, but still is dealing quite a bit of damage here with this Doomfist and Hawksall. Not long for this world, we'll get finished off with just a regular punch this time around. But it's still the tanks doing so much work here for the side of Runaway as we enter into that overtime. Self-destruct does get rid of Yanu. Libero desperately trying to stay alive, gets until the last second, but he will get taken out by Janu, and that could just be it. So very close on the cap is Meta Athena, but now the sound barrier down here by Runaway. It seems like they are gonna be able to hold this one out. Pulse bump. Getting nothing, zone off the point with the self-destruct. Buys them a little bit of time, and it's just a fraction of a percentage to finish this one off, but they still don't have it. Sound barrier thrown down here by Meta. Athena. They're all in on this one, but Libero does get taken out, but that's still going to be the cap. But it's going to be all of Runaway pushing in. They get Rio first and foremost. The sound barrier not enough to keep them alive. And now Runaway has their own to keep their members in the fight. Saya throwing down that pulse bomb, not going to get a damn thing for it. It's forced out on that recall immediately. We see the self-destruct thrown down there by Hoon. Won't find much. He goes low, has that Discord Orb on him. He's going to get taken out. Now it's a self-destruct from the side of Bumper. Yet again, zoning them back. Meteor Strike coming down. Will not register the damage in on the Bumper. Takes it low, but won't get the kick. And Cox just comes up with the triple kill. It's the supports ripping apart the members of Meta Athena as Jono also finds the kill in on to Hoon. And that might just be it. Overtime getting ready to plummet as they get off of it. Saya player desperately tries to get back in. Cannot do so and run away. Will take King's Row and they're going to boop the match point. You see Bumper is pushed off the point. Ox is going to get chased all the way back. Or is that big health pack? Will get taken down. First hit coming through. Will be contested by Bumper by Stitch who's dipping in and out, but they're both dangerously low. Mech's going to get lost. There's just no away. threat. We're going to spend his time trying to shut down Sire Player, but he's got a lot of different masters to protect here. Sire Player finally going to get threatened. Goes low. 20 HP makes it back over, will stay alive in the meantime. Hawksall drawn out the Dragon Blade, just trying to get rid of these members of Metathena in onto the point. Will get rid of Keanu. At the same time, they still are so very close to getting this second tick. Self-destruct tossed out, not going to be finding anything, but Hoon is able to get the remake, pushes back in. Still looking for the tick. The EMP comes down from Cox, trying to delay this as the sound barrier hits. And that might be enough for Runaway to hold on to this before that second tick comes through. They've been looking for breathing room for about a minute and a half now, but only a single tick actually achieved. Oh, now, actually get some chop guns in. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, jump straight in on top of Tizzy. Fires away and comes up with the kill. Now just 27% away from having that ultimate ready to go. Hawksall does have the Dragon Blade. But wants to hold it as long as possible. Go force out that primal rage from Rio. Sound barrier coming down as well just to help him stay alive. Huxall not going to be getting too many swipes in, but the ones that he do are just going so very far for the team. Chris and Libero both cut down in one swipe. 
Meta Athena will get stopped out. It's an investment there. With the Dragon Blade, and we know anything about Hawksaw is that he can build up another one very swiftly. And in competitive Overwatch, that was big as Cox. Oh, massive EMP does get dropped out there by Cox, and all of the kills are just spilling in three, immediately going down. And Meta Athena just don't know what to do. Another swap there as Hoon himself is in onto the Reaper. Nearly had the second, but run away. Despite the massive timing that was available, oh, they don't even almost has that first tick there, but will be joined by the rest of the team. EMP gonna get dropped in, but Rio has already fallen as Bumper finds the kill, and Keanu will get taken out. Pulse Pop by Saya comes over the kill in onto the Baby Demon, but that's about it for him. Libero able to get rid of the Zenyatta, but they cannot touch Stitch. He is still just full HP dashing around, keeping this in contention and wreaking havoc onto the members of Meta Athena. Libero going low, has the Dragon Blade, tries to run away, but Hawksall says, that's my character, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and take you out. And we nearly have the second tick through here from the runaway. Dive coordination with Tizzy was really good. Another rewarding dive in for the Winston. Beautiful bubble. Go ahead and absorb all of that self-destruct there from Hoon. We'll be able to get the remix, but he's completely surrounded, so probably not long before this world gets popped out yet again. Will get taken down, and that's going to be the second tick at least, but likely going to be the abandon there. Oh, so no Sombra for Runaway. Self-destruct from Bumper throwing that into the back flank, looking for a pick. Won't be able to find one as the Pulse Pump does come down, nearly d him yet again. Won't quite be able to find that pick. Hoon going to answer with his own. Gets taken out by Stitch with the May, but the self-destruct will find Hogsall. And Bumper will get knocked out. Stitch is still coming up with multiple kills as he gets rid of Libero. Chris also going down, but Keanu gets back in onto the point, throws down the EMP, but there's nobody there to follow up. We'll find one. Asame gets taken out, but Tizzy immediately finds vengeance for Stitch, getting rid of Saya player, but it's just an all-out brawl on the point, slowly ticking up here for Runaway, but they need much more than this. Sound Barrier is going to be committed. They want to go all in onto this push, despite the fact that several members are still running back from the spawn. And with Janu going down, that might just have to be Hawks it. Takes out Saya player at melee range. He is firing away, and Hoxel has the Dragon Blade, but can he get the kills? Chris finds the kill in onto Cox. Will get taken down by Bumper with the boom. But Hoxel dies, doesn't really gain much for his ultimate investment. And Runaway going to have to be very on point here. Literally. Uh, figuratively, as he goes ahead, dashes around to the lower ground, comes back up. It's firing away, trying to freeze him up. Does get the hit. He pops out of the back is going to be the question. Hasn't done it yet. Self destruct will find Chris. And Rio goes down swiftly thereafter. Yana yet again with another EMP will throw that out immediately as Cox has to retreat into the back alley. Will keep himself alive and actually finds the killing on the side player. Now it's time for the sound barrier here for the center runaway. They're going to go ahead and stay into the fight. Cox has already gotten the Death Blossom back up. In the meantime, Hoxel cuts down two with the Dragon Blade. Death Blossom to zone them out, and this could just be it, as you say. Yano sprinting around in the invisibility, just trying to delay as much as possible. Will get spotted. Side player taken out immediately as he comes in, as does Rio. Has to retreat. I got it. It's not going to be it. That's just going to be the cap here for Runaway. Was looking very deadly for them. Seemed like maybe Meta Athena would be able to pull off the hold, but they do not do so. The heroics of Hoxley. 이렇게 쉽게 이기는, 이길지는 잘 몰랐어요. 자신감은 많이 없긴 한데 그래도 이기 이겨보도록 노력해야죠. 어, 일단 손브라가 지금 메타에선 저런 맵들 중에서 좀 좋아서 거, 거점 종류 맞나? 네 그런 맵에서 좋아가지고 그 서브이를 빼고. 아, 선물 하나 넣어서 힐킷을 먹으면서 EMP로 스노우볼 계속 굴려가는 그런 조합, 예. 그 조합을 쓸 때는 제가 하죠, 루시우를. 근데 앞으로도 좀할것 같긴 해요, 제가, 루시우. 어, 그래도 경쟁전에서 조금은 해봐가지고 좀 쉬워서, 예. 어, 질문을 까먹어버렸어요. <웃음> 조금은 익숙해진 것 같아요. 좀 잘리는 건 힘, 힘들긴 한데 제가 루시오를 잘 많이 안 해봐서. <웃음> 어 저는 지금 이들어가 좋은 것 같아요. 다른 팀에서 뭐 영입할 영입할 생각은 없어가지고 저번 시즌에 광탈했는데. 이번 시즌은 그래도 노려볼 만해요, 우승을. 좀, 그래도 맞추면 센? 팀업을 맞추면 센 팀? 
어, 그래도 아직은 좀 힘들어 아, 힘들어 보여요 아직은 팀합도 그렇고 다른 분위기 같은 것도 네. 팀원이랑 그런 